Hello everyone and welcome back to Killer Phoenix Gaming. So today we are going to do the Sea Needle portion of Downtown Bikini Bottom. Hey guys, it's me. I'm editing this video right now. Um, and I just wanted to say that I lost some of the Sea Needle footage, so I actually went back and replayed it. So you're gonna notice that like stuff happens out of order. Sorry about that, but I, I went back and I played this so we could get the whole thing. And after, we'll still be going to Goolagoon because I seem to have that footage. I don't know what happened to this one. Anyways, let's get right back to the footage. Ah, uh, there you are, boy. That. Yes? Mr. Easy. I just... Why would I want... Uh, what kind of funny names? Uh, that. Uh, uh... Story isn't very important. Break things. <laughs> from up here. Oh, it keeps like, it keeps like lagging. Like I can't, it's not. Sometimes like the camera is showing me like not where I actually am when it gets like below SpongeBob like that. That's making this very hard. This was another part that really frustrated me when I was younger, and I don't think anything's changed. Wow! Everyone looks like ant fish from up here. Come on, come on, come on! Every time, every. Alright, really? I mean, I could just run past them, but... What... What, what fun is that? Really? I'm not even gonna deal with him. Oh boy, this is gonna be fun. Oh my god, I cannot believe I just did that. Oh my god, okay, I need a break and I'll be back. Ready, I'm ready, I'm ready. Alright, okay, so this shouldn't be too hard, but especially now that I'm done seething. All right, this time is gonna be it. I don't wanna waste too much time here. I wanna get to Goolagoon. Oh, well, do I? Ugh, I do not like Goolagoon. It's okay though, after Goolagoon, we're gonna get the Bubble Bowl move and we can go back and get, um, I think there's something in Jellyfish Fields and maybe another thing here. Uh, but that'll unlock some golden spatulas for us as well as like the second area of levels, which after this, like, after Goolagoon, every level is great. And like, okay, it's enjoyable, but you have four lives, but the water prevents you from getting to safety so it like counts as all four lives which is just the stupidest thing I think I need to stop going like under them. I think that's what's screwing things up. 
Even though it, I can kind of catch them sometimes and get a few TPs, I don't think it's worth it. I think doing them backwards is a really good idea, because at least then if, like, like if I'm going to die, it's going to be on three or two. So at least get that done first. Because one doesn't have any explosive things. Or whatever the first one's called. And I have to remember to keep picking up the underwear. Ooh, did I just get everything on one? Damn! Okay, so this is definitely it. We got it. Fresh like a spring breeze. I was not, and perhaps still am not, patient enough to not hit the explosive tiki's. You have to like go right next to them instead of just smashing through. Or at least that's what they want you to do. Come on, I want that spatula from crabs. Alright, one more. Is this two or three? I think this is this is two, so there's one left. Oh my god. This is where it starts getting frustrating where there's only like one. It's infinitely harder to hit. Oop. I think I got it, did I? Oh, come on. I only got the one that... I think I just made it harder for myself. You have to like, because of the speed you're going, you can look like you're gonna hit it and still miss it by just a little. So you really gotta be like center on. Just keep it, SpongeBob's body covering the TP. This is what happens when you play Call of Duty for 10 years. <laughs> you can't play anything that's not a shooter. Okay, there we go. That was really frustrating. All right, let's just uh, let's just get out of there before the cops show up. Yeah, ye. All right, let's switch back over and go to Goo Lagoon now, guys. All right. So if you ever wanted to see a grown man cry, you might. Lagoon. I feel like this level was my elementary school bully. <laughs> I didn't really get picked on that much, actually. But, um... Yeah. No, this thing definitely... This is where I typically would stop playing and just start over so I could play through Jellyfish Fields again. Lagoon, a sun-drenched beach of sludge at the bottom of the <laughs> That kid's me. <laughs> All is not well here on Paradise. Take that! Oh, these guys. These guys are actually pretty easy. You just gotta be quick about them.
That's what you get for wearing plaid, my dude. Plaid is and will always be a violation of the Weenie Hut Jr. dress code. The robot is called Monsoon. I get it, because Storm. Yeah, I remember a few seconds ago when I said that those guys were easy. Fresh like a spring SpongeBob. Well, you do look barnacles. Robot. Yeah. Oh no. Exactly. You can't spend a day at the beach without sunscreen. That sun is way too hot. That robot is out on the island. Nobody can get to him. SpongeBob, maybe you can use those sun reflectors. If you hit one of the buttons on the side of a lifeguard tower, the reflector will turn. Connect all the towers and the light will shoot right out of the big reflector on the island. Then all you have to do is swim out to the island and turn the big reflector onto the... I'll stay here. <laughs> but I, uh, can't swim. Alright, so we gotta live like Larry and get this laser to hit the box in the middle. This one. Oops. Let's just put it back. Okay, I guess you had to do that one first. Oops. There we go. That's what that's supposed to look like. I'm pretty sure I just like screwed up the whole thing and then put it back. But it's okay. We're learning. My lord. That's right, kids. Learn things. Make sure to learn all of the drugs. Love opening presents. Ow. Okay, I feel like I have no idea what I'm doing. This, this, it's, it's probably not actually that hard. I'm probably just stressed out because I hate this. Oh, you have to do this part with Patrick. Watermelons. The checkpoints seem like super arbitrary. I don't, I don't know where I'm actually supposed to go. Hmm, thought there might be a sock back there. That guy's wearing plaid. The children's balloons. I don't know. Yeah, you can bubble can. It's not actually moving anything. I need to turn that one back, but... I thought I already did this. Maybe if I just do the Patrick part first.
That was definitely not what I was supposed to do. There we go. How many of these do I have to carry? Oop. Oh, I did not think I was going to make that. Alright, if I just wait till they're the long way, then I basically can't miss. <sighs> okay, 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 okay. Hmm, not okay. That guy. Yeah, guys, sorry if I've been being a complete idiot. I had so much homework, I'm super exhausted. I'll make sure to sleep up and be better for the next episode. This is the last one of this particular sitting. Come on, Patrick, buddy, you can do it. You're kidding, right? It's like the sea needle all over again. Like, just this chunk of game is really frustrating. Like, I'm not having trouble with a boss, or like a fight, or even a puzzle. It's just a particularly hard section of two parkour things in a row this part and the sea needle. Oh look, the water! Love having four lives and getting to use none of them. I need to take it slow as well. That's I'm I'm so prone to just rushing through everything. Alright, this time's hit. It has to be hit. I just gotta take it slow. I keep I'm doing this to myself, 100 percent Oh, that was so close. I did not think I was going to make it on that purple one. Wait. There we go. And... Oh, thank God. Wait, that was for just a sock? Oh my God. Okay, I mean, I'm not mad, but, like, I kind of thought there would be a spatula there, because that was kind of hard. Ugh. Alright, guys, well, I think I'm going to have to stop here, because that took a long time, and I'm exhausted. Um, but I will we'll definitely continue and finish Blue Lagoon in the next episode, and I will see you guys then. Thanks for watching. Uh, subscribe and leave a comment.